you liking this looping animation we are going to make this one in this tutorial i will guide you step by step so you can easily follow me first step we gotta do is add a plane to our scene well the plane has no relation to our object but we gotta make the hexagonal tiles we saw in the intro video in that looping animation so selecting this we will just divide our panel right here and change this to geometry node editor now selecting this click on new and make sure you pin it because we don't want it to just go away if we select any other thing this will just go away i mean we can come back to it but we don't want that so let's just delete this we don't want that we will add a mesh line to our scene mesh line and connect it to the geometry tab we don't want it on the z direction let's just change the z value to zero and change the y value to one next we gotta add a cylinder to our scene so let's just add a mesh which will be a cylinder and in the properties just change the vertices to six and enter and we are going to use this one you can scale it like this as well if you want i will use this in our scene right here so I will go to the scene collection and just drag the cylinder right in here. Now using this, we have to make our hexagonal tile appear on the line, this mesh line. So for that we will use a node called instance on points and drag it in between the mesh line and our group output and with the object info which is our cylinder set it to relative and connect the geometry to our instance. Now it's appearing on that mesh line let's just rotate it on the z axis by 30 degree by pressing z and 30 on your numpad now we want it to appear in this direction as well but we can just duplicate it and move around that won't happen so basically what we have to do is use a math function which is really easy i will just show you now first we will use a node called index with this index it contains all the number of units like this cylinder is one two three four five and all that is contained inside this add another node called math we'll set it to wrap again duplicate it and change it to greater than with this connect the index to value and this value to this value change the max to zero and minimum to two and set the threshold to one to connect it to our node system we will add another node called set position and click it right here before we connect this we will need another node called vector math and just connect the vector to the offset and connect value to the vector and change operation mode to multiply so we get a multiply of this which means it will duplicate it and move it on the y direction like this we will hide our cylinder and we have to adjust now so let's just change the offset of y to right here and also decrease this value so we get a perfect tile let's just see from the above by pressing numpad 7 and that looks perfect but we can fine tune it more if you would like it to to increase the number we will just increase the count and voila now that is really good but we want more in this direction of our mesh as well so for that we will just do is duplicate this instance on point drag here and we will duplicate this line just set the y value to zero and then connect the mesh to the instance so let's just change the x value and you will see things are starting to happen let's just go to the top view and adjust it properly that would do it and we have a honeycomb structure right here looks really good increase the number and you get as much as you want for your animation now we will bring a sphere to our scene so that we can animate with it so let's go to mesh and uv sphere bring it up let's just shade smooth so let's just move our sphere over this and reduce the size of our sphere let's just place it here for right now add a circle to our scene which is curve and circle we'll also place it right here bring a circle increase the size of the circle tools like this now we gotta animate our ball on this circle but before that we have to apply the effect on our honeycomb structure so let's go back in here to the geometry nodes and shift this to the right we will add a node in between which will be set position and drag it in between here for that effect we will need a node called 
geometry proximity and we also need the sphere in here so drag the sphere into here and connect the geometry to the target after that we will need to connect the distance to the offset but before we do that we'll add a node called vector math because we want these honeycomb structure to move only in one direction which is z so connect the distance to the vector and change it to multiply and this coordinates refers to x y and z if we change the z value our honeycomb structure will move only on the z direction as you can see but it's looking weird that is because we have to apply a node called realize instances and drag it in between here and that will do but the effect is really weird it's happening from that point not from the point of the pole so that is because we have not set the sphere which is our sphere to relative and now is working to fine tune we'll add another load called map range in between our geometry proximity and multiplier let's just bring it down right here and change this value i will set the max value to 14 and minimum value to about that would do change the max value as well we have to play with these values to get the desired result it is looking really good one more thing we can do is our hexagonal tiles are looking way sharp i'll just go to the cylinder enable it go to cylinder or cylinder is selected go to the modifiers add modifier bevel and just increase the amount to segment to two and it's looking way smoother now now only thing left is to animate it and apply the textures so let's first of all animate it with our sphere selected we will go to the object data properties in relations and change the parent to bezier circle now our circle is gone it's flying way away from its home let's bring it back to the scene so to use the scale move it down and that should do it reduce the scale a lot more as per your liking now selecting the bezier circle go to the data properties of it and in the path animation change the frame to 250 and at the evaluation time press i to insert keyframe go to the last frame 250 and change the value to 250 and again press i now it's animating that is good selecting all the keyframes by pressing a on your keyboard and press i and then right click and change the interpolation mode to linear so our animation becomes more smoother so this is what we get we can make it more smoother by changing our map range to smooth step that looks way better now let's apply some material first of all we will apply some materials to our hexagon tiles change the render view to cycles gpu compute or faster computing now selecting the hexagonal tiles we will have to add a materials from our geometry node only so search for set material after instance on point and group output put it right here and we have to create a material new and let's just call it tiles now select tiles here as well let's go to the share editor with our tile selected we'll add a node called object info right there and connect random value to the base color so it gives random value but we don't want black and white so add a color rim in between increase these bars first then change the value to something like red you can change the variations as per your liking also reduce the roughness to about 0.1 and if you want to increase the metallic you can do that as well now let's apply some material to our sphere go to the materials and press new and click on this pin icon so that we can see our material for our sphere we will add a node called wave texture followed by a color ramp connecting the color to the base color connecting the color to the factor selecting wave texture press ctrl t bringing out this mapping let's just scale it something about there increase the color ramp like this change the color i would change it to yellow like this i want it to look like golden something so i will drag it here change the yellow color to black again so it creates a mapping for a metallicness with this i will just connect the wave texture again to the factor and color to our metallic and we have a metallic strips now 
I can change the white color to my liking. Now let's change the rotation of Z to 90 degree. As it's going down, it looks like it's just dragging around here and there. I don't want that. For that to look better, what I would suggest is go select your circle and go to its properties and click on follow. Now it will follow properly, but I want it to rotate as well. So let's see which direction would be good for rotation. And that would be X. So selecting our sphere, press N on the X, type hash frame and then multiplied by minus 0.1 and enter. Now let's see what happens. It looks like it's rolling and it looks really good. I like it. This ball resembles a honeybee and this honeycomb structure is her home maybe. Finally, we'll add a camera to our scene and with camera I will press Ctrl Alt 0 and it will project from this view and we will see this view. Now what we can do is go to the properties of our camera and enable depth of field and check our sphere. You can increase the f-stop or decrease the f-stop value as per your liking to give a bokeh effect and then finally one more thing you can do is go to the constraint tab while selecting your camera and add a constraint drag to and with the eyedropper select your sphere and then see the result well it's lagging right now because it's not real time let's just see in a normal way and that looks way better so what is left to is just render your animation so that was all for this tutorial if you like this guys please do subscribe to my channel and like this video also also let me know which part was the best for you and what new things you learned from my video also do share if you really like this thanks peace out see you next time